Everything you're about to see in this clip was created by Sora. Remember that. Check it out. One year ago, Sora One redefined what was possible with moving images. Today, we're announcing the Sora app, powered by the all new Sora 2. It's the most powerful imagination engine ever built. And it's packed with new features. I'll pass it to Bill for more details. Now every video comes with sound. Sora 2 is also the state of the art for motion, physics IQ, and body mechanics, marking a giant leap forward in realism. Introducing Cameo, giving you the power to step into any world or scene and letting your friends cast you in theirs. On the path to AGI, the gains aren't just about productivity. It's about creating new possibilities. It's also about creativity and joy. One, two, three, four. why we're launching Sora 2 inside the Sora app, allowing everyone to push the limits of their imagination and create in ways we never thought possible. Okay, my mind is absolutely blown. That Sam Altman was generated. That was not a real Sam Altman. And the detail on his face and the accuracy of his voice and everything was stunning. Look how good that looks. The lighting and the hair, his face. I mean, this looks like him. This is kind of scary good. Now, Sora 2 is not yet publicly available. They are still just doing invite only. I'm waiting for my invite. As soon as I get it, you know I'm going to test it out in full. Here is the announcement. Our latest video generation model is more physically accurate, realistic, and controllable than prior systems. It also features synchronized dialogue and sound effects. Create with it in the new Sora app. So it seems like the primary way they're saying to use it is through a mobile app, which is kind of weird because of course I wanna use it on my desktop. And this is all about world simulation. The Sora team has been focused on training models with more advanced world simulation capabilities. We believe such systems will be critical for training AI models that deeply understand the physical world. And the VO3 team from Google DeepMind thinks the same thing. I just interviewed them and they effectively said that these world models are going to be used to train embodied AI, aka robots. Let me show you that clip. It's very expensive to deploy, for example, a robot in a factory, right? Maybe it will be much cheaper and much more safer if it can still first experiment, learn in, in this simulated environment before it gets deployed into the real environment. Now let me show you a couple other demos of Sora 2. Ladies and gentlemen, Ready when you are. Three, two, one, go! Oh, dude, you alright? I'm good. Let me show you some more examples. The physics are so good. Look at this. We have a skateboarder. I cannot believe that this was generated with AI. Look how good this looks. Okay, a little issue with running through the water. 
backflip looks incredible. Usually we've seen kind of one of the trickiest things to give an AI video model is gymnastics. And there it is. Jumping in the pool, the splash looks incredible. Here we go. A horse riding on top of another horse. And look at the little muscle movements. So subtle, so incredible. And there we go. Some volleyball. Really good. And a quick thank you to Dell Technologies for sponsoring this portion of the video. Check out the new Dell Pro Max workstation with NVIDIA RTX Pro Blackwells built in. This thing is an absolute beast for AI workloads. With NVIDIA RTX Pro, you now have a supercomputer sitting on your desk and it can do more with local AI than ever before. So learn more about Dell Pro Max. Click the link in the description below to let them know I sent you. So prior video models are over optimistic. They will morph objects and deform reality to successfully execute upon a text prompt. So for example, if a basketball player misses a shot, the ball may spontaneously teleport to the hoop. In Sora 2, if a basketball player misses a shot, it will rebound off the backboard. Let's look at some more examples. A little anime action. Here we go. Beautiful 3D dragon. Look at the weather in the background. So impressive. Here we go, a little bit more animation. So just the consistency, the voice, everything coming together in a single model, so impressive. VO3 definitely has some competition now. Here's another example. Look at the realism here, the snow on his beard, the wind noise over the voice. I mean, it is so good. Here's another one, kind of beautiful fireworks, black and white. There's no possible way I would be able to tell that this was not real. Here's another one, look at the water physics. We have koi floating around in the pond. So I do see some morphing here. Look at that. So you could see a little bit when he's kind of juggling this stick. You could see his wrists are moving in a kind of awkward way. There's a little bit of morphing, here we go. So a little bit, but not bad. Here we have some scuba diving, going through the ocean, really beautiful absolute consistency on all of these tiny objects. Here's somebody talking. There's kind of a little bit of weirdness around the forehead. I see a little bit of movement I wouldn't expect, but let's listen to this one. Knowledge is not a destination. It's a companion for the road. And when we gemeinsam gehen, lernen wir, dass jede Frage mehr Türen öffnet. Wow, so this is so impressive. Not only do you get multiple languages, but you can actually hear the echo like he's standing in a lecture hall. And I was lucky enough to get an access code for myself, and I'm going to show you what Sora looks like. But first, if you want access to Sora, we're giving away a Sora access code. All you need to do is subscribe to our newsletter. I'll drop a link in the description below. We'll choose one person. We'll give you a Sora code. As we get more, we'll give away more. So be sure to subscribe to our newsletter down below in the description. So first, let me show you the web app, then I'm gonna show you the mobile app. So here we go. This is the web app. So it looks like TikTok, basically. All of these videos are AI generated and they are really, really great. Here are a few examples. Okay, so there's Jake Paul with one of the creators of Sora. Here's a Game Boy. Here's one of me that I just found. Hey there, ready for a short trip? Come on, take my hand. Just a step through the gate and you'll see why I keep coming back. Welcome to a world where tech and nature finally get along. And check this out. Remember, the audio is also AI generated. Watch and listen to this commercial. This is absolutely the future of movies and video. Bell, crunch, rap in my grip, model training as well. I talk to the menu, it knows me so well. Got spice in the code and it's ringing the bell. And look at this. One of the most realistic AI generated people I've ever seen. Legendary Bigfoot? The forest is perfect for hiding. I think I just found something. Look at the size of this print. Wait, did you see that? Something's moving over there. That's gotta be him. I'm going after it. Hey there, Traveler. I thought we'd all push each other and make amazing things together, but but there's no race. We're so far ahead that there's no one to run against it. <laughs> That's killing me. This is definitely going to go mega viral. Sora is competing with TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of the social apps out there. OpenAI really did something special with Sora too. So here's what the mobile app looks like. Now, unfortunately, as soon as I click into one of them, it doesn't actually network. stream anymore. This looks like a bug. There. So I'm not able to record the actual videos, but you can see a bunch of them right here. Now to create one, you click the plus button and you can select yourself. Select somebody else, there's Sam Altman, and I'll also put Alex in there, and I'll say, create a video of us three in a three-way UFC fight. Here we go, the three-man showdown is underway. Berman in the 
dark green trunks. Alex in the olive and Altman in the black. Quick right from Altman. Lands clean on Alex. Berman fires a body. Now, videos take about five to 10 minutes to generate. And once they do, whoever is in the video gets tagged and it's, it's actually really neat. So here are all the notifications. And the cool thing is right when you start the app for the first time, it asks you to say three numbers in a row. Then it asks you to move your face in different directions like this. And then it has you, it captures your likeness. And it is so very realistic. It's popping up everywhere right now, writing code, drawing art, even answering our emails. Look at that. It even got my background exactly. The lighting, everything. So impressive, my hoodie. So yeah, now it's exactly what I'm wearing. And I took that intro capture period right in this setting. So of course it's gonna get it right. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.